Is he with you too? Like, He's with me, yeah. You look like Mr. T or somebody. Is he well, like, when I show you what I'm about to show you, you'll understand why I have to make sure I'm secure at all times. Hey, hey, how hey, you doing? How are you? All right, I'm two chains. Jason, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Jason. Nice how you, you doing today? Good, good. Wanted to show you some of those items that we make over here. I see Beverly Hills on it. I know it's expensive. No, no, it's quality. Quality over quantity. Exactly. We specialize in like custom bespoke pieces for some of the world's biggest celebrities and powerful royalty members. And we do things that people are just kind of scared to do. Okay. Like diamond bow tie. One of the only diamond bow ties you'll see, but at least it gives you a different kind of look, a different kind of flavor when you go on that red carpet event. Yeah, how much is that? Something like this, you're looking at around $10,000. Or you could maybe step it up a bit and you could do something like this, which is a diamond Bible pendant, but we take it a step further than that because we include every page of the Bible. Oh, stop it. Something like that, you're looking at about 15,000. This is nice. Thank you. We have, you know, diamond engagement rings like this that goes upwards of $100,000. You ever thought about putting it in a martini? Martini? On, On the, the rocks. rocks. I'll do it. I'm gonna show you the world's most expensive diamond shoes ever created. Diamonds on your shoes. Diamonds on your shoes. Nick Cannon came to me and said, I wanna make a statement. I wanna go on the finale of America's Got Talent and I wanna shock the world with the most expensive shoes. But he took it a step further and said, you know what, we're gonna get the shoes, we're gonna make the shoes. He purchased the shoes for $2 million. Fuck, Nick Cannon. Nick is a smart guy. The guy's got seven shows on TV at the same time, so I really admire him. But what we're doing, we're touring the shoes all around the world, and we're eventually gonna auction them off for charity. Joseph, do you mind opening this for us, please? Oh, you got some big ass hands. So here we have it. You have 340 carats, over 18,000 stones set. That means 9,000 per shoe. It took nearly one year to make these shoes. What makes these shoes so difficult, they were built on a Tom Ford platform. They're all movable, bendable, so you can actually wear them. Now, you're not gonna win a race in these. You can't tap dance right, in these, right. but you could definitely make a statement when you walk on that red carpet. Wow, and these are real diamonds. These are real diamonds, feel how heavy this is. That's, a good, that's probably, probably about 15 pounds. I just feel like if you wore these shoes, you wouldn't have to really wear them much. Well, else. if you walk in a room with those shoes, you don't have to worry about anything else that you wear. You can wear shorts. Exactly, this shoe makes a statement in itself. You can wear swimming trunks with these. Really, because can't nobody say shit about you because you have on two million dollar shoes and he gonna sell it and give it to charity. Right. That's what y'all tell wait, us. We're gonna wait one more year, we're gonna tour it all over the world. It's gonna stop at different museums, and eventually we're gonna sell for charity. Really, bro? Yep. And I've definitely been blessed to be able to see two million, but to be able to see two million all in one pair of shoes is yeah. very incredible. I thought I had some pretty wild thoughts. But apparently Nick Cannon is a much better rapper than I am. Yeah, so we back, the bling episode. Now Jason, two million dollars for some Tom Ford shoes. Them bitches gotta have diamonds on the bottom, in the sole. They have to come with socks, diamond socks, like Michael Jackson wore. And I'm still not gonna buy them for two million. That's just me. 